Welcome back, everybody. King Ray 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 here, and I'm your host for this evening. So today we are doing an update video of what is going on in King Ray Ray Land. Oh Lord, King Ray Ray Land, we're in trouble, aren't we? <laughs> All right. So basically, what is going on is I'm building maps for a new game that is going to be coming out very soon through my channel. I am being helped by several different people, thankfully, because this is an awfully large pro project, and its name is King Prince. It's a PvP game where there are eight teams, 24 people max, uh, each team has three players on it, one prince, two guardians, or defenders, however you want to call them, um, and the point of it is to be the last team with your prince standing because if your prince dies game over dude just game over <laughs> so a reason why i named it king prince is because basically all the princes are vying for the crown so what better than to call it king prince right now as you see me uh, as you hear me talk we are currently building one of the maps of King Prince. And what is this map, you can ask? Well, it's a giant map, as you can probably tell. One, two, three, four, five. Um, so basically, what this map is, is a giant's house. One, two, three, four, five. And so you will get to fight on top of countertops, on top of a carrot being chopped in half inside of a furnace if you so dare to get yourself cooked alive <laughs> um but that is just one of several maps that we are doing we are doing four maps all together and another one is silriator silriator sorry and that is one of my made up uh citadels that I uh, for one of the books I'm writing and Silreator is this magical gigantic humongous citadel that um sorry uh, talking and building is not my forte Ooh, sub sub is one of our helpers he's helping with the aesthetics part of building the giant uh, items and that's not too bad <laughs> no bad <laughs> so I'd say he's doing a good job he made the giant carrot I really like that <laughs> so um good job sub sub big shout out to you buddy I've known sub sub for a little bit because I was on another server for a bit and I met him through there. Should I put something inside it? Uh, Easter egg. No, I don't want them in them in there. There we go. Okay, so he's got to go. It's fine. Ah, what's going on here? Okay, so. Got to scoot that one back one. Okay, so the other maps are going to be Emmer's Castle. And if you guys don't know who Emmer is, go Wikipedia it. it he is in the long run. The king of frost giants in Nordic mythology. Uh, so you're going to get yourself nice and cold. Woohoo! Everybody loves the cold. Just make sure you wear some very warm moccasins because you might be getting some frostbite very quickly in that map. <laughs> um, Alright, so another map. We do not have a fourth map decided yet. And I actually want you guys, the viewers, to give me some ideas what the fourth map should be. I've been asking around uh, my friends and 
partners and guys from the charity that we had a while uh, just a bit ago and really they've given me answers that I'm not really fond of currently but if you guys want something that they asks asked then go ahead and post it and I will see if I can get someone special to help out with that. The reason why I'm kind of leery about doing one of their suggestions is because they suggested Tokyo with Godzilla attacking. And I do not know anybody except for one person, and I doubt they're going to help me, that can actually make a biological creature like Godzilla. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Uh, the head terraformer for this project is Vizek. And maybe I should show you what Vizek is capable of. So let's go do that. Uh, 500. No, not 5,000. 500. To zero. All right, and mind you, my server is whitelisted, so you won't be able to get on uh, without my permission. All right, so this is the beginning accelerator, and here's some of Vizek's wonderful work. Now, I'm going to also show you the lobby while I'm at it. Let's go down. To the lobby we shall go. And here we are. This baby took me approximately 10 hours or just a little bit less. And the Zek did make that chandelier there, even though he can't spell chandelier. <laughs> and each of the four sides has. A bulletin board where you choose one of the 24 classes if you have a class ticket that is if you don't you then go to the randomatic a uh, random omatic and press it and you get a random class the other side is the information booth and tickets we do not have that set up yet so I'll show you in the next update um so that's basically what is going on here so if you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a big fat like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And at the same time, I would like to remind you, please send in those suggestions. Because if you really want to see Godzilla attacking Tokyo, then I will figure a way to convince this special person to join in the fun. Because I know she can do it. I have seen her work. She's just the type of person that puts herself down and says she can't do it. So I'll catch you guys later. Bye bye now. And enjoy.